Kathleen Cody, born October 30, 1954, often credited as Kathy Cody, is an American actress. She is best known for her role as the characters Hallie Stokes and Carrie Stokes on the television series Dark Shadows, appearing from June 1970 through April 1971. Her career in film and television lasted over 30 years. Kathleen Cody was born on October 30, 1954, in the Bronx, New York. She is the daughter of James and Mary Cody. She attended Manhattan's Professional Children's School. When she was 18 years old, Cody moved from New York to Los Angeles to pursue her acting career in a greater capacity. She appeared in over 10 television network series and seven major motion pictures. Cody appeared in her first television commercial when she was six months old and continued to work steadily as a child fashion model. She appeared in television commercials, including one with Louis Armstrong. She also appeared in commercial advertisements and on magazine covers, modeling for New York photographers, including Richard Avedon and Francesco Scabolo. When Cody was seven years old, she was cast in the theater production of Uncle Willie, with Manasha Skolnick at the Coconut Grove Playhouse in Miami, Florida. In 1963, at the age of nine, Cody was named one of the original cast members of the Broadway show Here's Love, appearing in the role of Hendrika. The musical production was written by Meredith Wilson, who earlier wrote The Music Man in the unsinkable Nolly Brown. Here's Love was an adaptation of the film Miracle on 34th Street and was introduced at the Sam S. Schubert Theater on Broadway in NYC. Cody's co-stars included Janice Page, Craig Stevens, Lawrence Naismith, Fred Gwynn, and Dom DeLucy. During the play, Cody had a duet on the song, The Bugle, with Naismith, who played the role of Chris Kringle. Cody remained with the production for the entire run, last appearing on July 25, 1964, when the play eventually closed after 334 shows and two previews. In 1965, Cody started her daytime television career with regular long-running parts on the CBS daytime soap operas The Edge of Night as Laurie Ann Carr, As the World Turns as Sally Graham and The Secret Storm is Cecilia, before becoming a regular cast member of the ABC gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows. She also appeared in the first episode of the Peter Faw TV series, The Trials of O'Brien, titled Over Defenses Out. She made special appearances on The Jackie Gleason Show, Perry Como Show, Jan Murray Show, and The Bell Telephone Hour Christmas Special with Florence Henderson. In 1967, Cody was cast as Betty Paris, in David Susskind's television production of Arthur Miller's The Crucible, which starred George C. Scott, Melvin Douglas, Colleen DeWurst, and Tuesday Weld. In 1967, the show was nominated for and won three Emmy Awards for Best Actor George C. Scott, Best Actress Colleen DeWurst, and Best Director Alex Siegel. Upon completion of The Crucible, Cody was cast in a PBS special, the novelist and playwright, Colette's 1922 play, My Mother's House originally entitled La Maison de Claudine, starring De Worst. The play was written as an homage to Colette's mother, Adele Eugenie Sidney Cito Colette. The story follows Colette as she reminisces about her childhood and her relationship with her mother. Cody portrayed the playwright, Colette, from adolescence up through the author's teenage years. In 1968, the show was nominated for three Emmy Awards. Cody has guest starred in numerous primetime television shows, including three episodes of Gunsmoke with actors James Arnaz, James Whitmore, Richard Yeckel, Buck Taylor, Nicholas Hammond, and Louise Latham, The Partridge Family with David Cassidy, Doc Elliott with James Ferentino, The Love, American-style segment Love in the Model Apartment with Davy Jones as her newlywed husband, Barbary Coast with William Shatner and Doug McClure, The Waltons with Richard Thomas, Ralph Waite, and Will Gear. Canning, guest starring in a dual role with William Conrad, Mitch Ryan, and Ralph Meeker. Three for the Road with Vincent Van Patten, and Barnaby Jones with Buddy Epson and Christopher Tabori, and Dirty Sally with Jeanette Nolan as Samantha. In 1976, Cody was cast in the starring role of Snowy in a pilot television series, entitled The Cheerleaders, which was directed by Richard Crenna. The show was a situation comedy about the misadventures of Snowy, BJ, and Beverly, three fun-loving high school girls. The pilot episode focuses on the girls, members of the cheerleading team as they perform embarrassing Pledge Week antics for a sorority house they'd hope to join. The story takes place in a small California town during the 1950s. Starring alongside Cody were Debbie Zip, Teresa Metaris, Mary Kay Place and Daryl Glazer.
The show was broadcast on August 2, 1976. In 1973, Cody left New York to appear in her first Hollywood film, Hot Summer Week, later entitled Girls on the Road, along with Ralph Wade and Michael Ankeen, who was also making his American film debut. Cody's appearance in Hot Summer Week prompted Walt Disney Studios to invite her to screen test for work with their studios. The successful audition resulted in Disney Studios signing her to a three-picture contract. She was the last actress signed to a contract by Disney Studios, since Annette Funicello. Snowball Express, directed by Norman Tokar, was the first film Cody completed for Disney Studios and was followed by Charlie and the Angel, directed by Vincent McAvity and starring Fred McMurray and Cloris Leachman as her parents, as well as Harry Morgan. Her love interest was portrayed by Kurt Russell. In 1974, Leachman was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for her portrayal of Nettie Appleby in the film. The film was released on March 23, 1973. Cody completed her three-picture deal with Disney, appearing in the film Superdad, again directed by Vincent McAvity. She starred in the film along with Bob Crane and Barbara Rush, as her parents. The film also starred Kurt Russell, portraying Cody's love interest for the second time, and Bruno Kirby and Ed Begley, Jr. The film was released on December 14, 1973. In 1972, Cody relocated to Los Angeles. She co-starred in three television movies of the week. She first appeared in a remake of the 1945 film Double Indemnity, which originally starred Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck. Cody portrayed the character Lola Dietrichson, while in 1945, the role was played by Jean Heather. The 1972 adaptation starred Richard Crana, Lee J. Cobb, and Samantha Egger. In 1975, Cody appeared in her second telemovie, Babe, a biographical film about Babe Didrikson who was named the 10th greatest North American athlete of the 20th century by ESPN and the 9th greatest athlete of the 20th century by the Associated Press. Written by Joanna Lee, the film was an adaptation of Didrikson's autobiography, entitled, This Life I've Laid. Directed by Buzz Kulik, the film starred Susan Clark in the title role, for which she won an Emmy for her performance. Alex Karras appeared in the film as Babe's husband, while Cody appeared in the supporting role of Sue Ellen. In 1975, Cody appeared in the Vincent Saviati directed film The Last Day, starring Richard Widmark, Barbara Rush, Tim Matheson, and Robert Conrad. Cody appeared in the supporting role of Julia Johnson as Matheson's love interest. The Western genre film was released on February 15, 1975. While she had previously retired from acting, relocating from Los Angeles to Jacksonville, Florida, Cody responded to a 1987 call for local actors to appear in the Peter Bogdanovich-directed film Illegally Yours. She was cast in a minor supporting role in the film, which starred Rob Lowe, Colleen Camp, and Kenneth Mars. The film was released on May 13, 1988. In 1975, Cody returned to the East Coast, settling in Connecticut. She married in 1979 and in 1981, her daughter, Megan, was born. In 1983, she returned to Los Angeles when she was cast in the Stephen J. Cannell television series, The Rousters, starring Chad Everett, Jim Barney, and Mimi Rogers. When the series was canceled after one season, Cody moved to Florida. In 2010, Cody appeared at the annual Dark Shadows Festival convention in Burbank, California, as one of the original cast members of the cult classic daytime drama. Alternating between Los Angeles and New York, the event is an annual three-day fan festival that has been held every year since 1983. As of 2011, Cody lived in Florida with her partner, John Avarello, until his death, September 20, 2012. Avarello and Cody both attended Manhattan's professional children's school where they first met in seventh grade. In August 2011, Cody appeared at the 45th anniversary of the Dark Shadows Festival with Avarello by her side. The festival was held in New York City. Television credits film credits